Hey guys, welcome to my ClickFunnels 2.0 tutorial video. As you can tell by today's video title, I'm gonna be going through literally everything you need to know about the ClickFunnels 2.0 software, going through all of the features, going through all of the new upgrades because if you're watching this video, you might have been a previous user of ClickFunnels or the 1.0 version. Maybe you're completely brand new and you're just looking to sign up for ClickFunnels 2.0. Whatever the case may be, I'm gonna be going through everything you need to know. We're gonna be doing a live demo and tutorial going through all of the new features inside of ClickFunnels 2.0. So if you do want to learn more, I will provide a link down below in the video description for your convenience. You can actually go ahead and sign up for a ClickFunnels 2.0 free trial if you do want to learn more and actually try it out firsthand. But with that being said, there's so many new features inside of this new tool, including funnel hubs, blog builder, visual automation builder, team collaboration, membership sites. I mean, the list really does go on and I'll also provide a link down below in the video description so you can actually go ahead and learn more through my ClickFunnels 2.0 review article, which I'll be constantly updating regardless of when you're watching this video. So with that being said, let's begin today's video and do a live demo and tutorial of ClickFunnels 2.0. So as you can see on screen right here, this is gonna be ClickFunnels 2.0 inside of the members area. Yes, finally, and as you can see, I have the ClickFunnels 2.0 private beta access. So whenever you're watching this video, ClickFunnels 2.0 will be available for you and you can actually get a free trial of ClickFunnels 2.0 and at the time of recording this video, a 30-day free trial of ClickFunnels 2.0. So I will be providing a link down below for that so you can actually try it out firsthand and see if ClickFunnels 2.0 is going to be right for you personally. But um, yeah, as you can see on screen, this is going to be the dashboard inside of ClickFunnels 2.0. So we have the checklist of things to do. We obviously have some basic sale analytics and total leads. There's a lot more data instead of analytics, which we're going to be going through in today's video as well. So keep on watching for that. And yeah, as you can see, this is like a nice checklist. So welcome to ClickFunnels private beta. That's obviously the um, first thing on the checklist. And then if we go over here to set up your funnel hub, the funnel hub's going to be your headquarters essentially for your website and your sale funnels and they're all going to be interconnected with each other. And this video tutorial right here, it's not really a tutorial in a sense where it shows you how to use the platform per se, but it's more of a tutorial going over some concepts that you can use for your online business. So in this example, they actually go over the shadow sales funnel, which is a very interesting concept, which goes over basically how it's kind of like the invisible sales funnel, so to speak, when people search up like your brand name or you know, your credibility and all this type of stuff and how you can basically drive, you know, people searching for your, let's just say, let's just say your name's Russell Brunson. Let's just use Russell Brunson for an example. A lot of people search up Russell Brunson on the internet. So obviously you want to like make sure that you're ranking for all the keywords for Russell Brunson on YouTube and Google. And then what he does is obviously redirect those people, you know, once he's on top of the search to his cell funnels and obviously to his homepage and all that type of stuff. Again, this video goes over this in a lot more detail and I'm not going to dedicate a whole video going over one particular video or concept. This is more of a tutorial of, this, of the user interface inside of ClickFunnels 2.0, okay? Now, setting up your blog, which this is actually very, very, very interesting, guys, because in the past, ClickFunnels 1.0 wasn't really designed for SEO, like, whatsoever, okay? And now, with ClickFunnels 2.0, it's actually much more optimized, so you can actually optimize your website and blog for SEO and rank on Google which is just mind-blowing to me because a lot of people are just going to be going ahead and using ClickFunnels 2.0 instead of WordPress, which is just absolutely insane. Then obviously, you know, step four, create your first course, set up your funnels, workflows, emails, products, and more, then complete your payment gateway. So you don't have to actually complete this checklist, but I wanted to go over it briefly in today's video as well. And it's a nice way to like get started and get familiar with the platform as well if you want to go ahead and do that yourself. And if we go over here to sites and funnels, this is going to be the fun part. So as you can see, this is going to be a site overview, your URL. You can see this is going to be the copy or basically like the draft of your website in my case. You can customize it in preview. And what do you guys want to keep in mind as well is when you actually choose a website theme, you want to make sure that you're happy with the theme because or just choose the theme up front in advance because this theme is going to be the theme for your entire like business essentially. So your funnels are also going to have like the same theme and you want to make sure they're all congruent with one another. So you can go over here and customize. And in this case, I'm going to customize my theme. You'll see that this is going to be the actual editor inside of ClickFunnels 2.0. Again, it has this like a loading thing which looks very, very, very clean and very nice. 
I've customized it briefly already to a certain degree. So you can obviously just put in like your text right here. So I'm gonna click on Control Z just to get rid of that. You'll see that if we can obviously go ahead and modify with all of this so we can obviously like you know bring it up to the top a little bit we can bring it down to the bottom we can obviously adjust all of this right here and there's this new feature called universal sections which is also very interesting i won't be going over this in too much detail because there's a lot to cover in one video for the tutorial for clickfunnels 2.0 I do go over this as well in my ClickFunnels 2.0 review article, which I'll provide a link down below in the video's description too as well. And I just want to quickly show you this as well. This is actually pretty cool. So I can add a section right here and you will see there's actually pre-made sections we can just go ahead and add right off the bat, um, which is just crazy. So I can add these pre-made like sections right here and it's just really, really cool. Same with like footers, about our sections. It's just really, really, really powerful stuff. So if we actually go back over here to um, what we were doing before, and we won't save this, that doesn't matter. Just click on reload. So if we go back over here, you, you can obviously go ahead and upload your logo, customize your site. So I've uploaded my logo already in this case. Now, if we go over here to blog, we can actually customize and edit everything like we did just before on the previous page as well. So if we click on this right here, let's just click on um, this page for an example, okay. You'll see that we can go ahead and edit everything right here as well. We can edit the text, pretty simple. We can add an image right here if we want to. We can basically like mess around with all of this. So we can basically edit our blog template right here very easily as well. Alright, so if we go over here to customer center, this is gonna be where you can see from the customer's perspective what it's gonna look like when they sign up for, let's just say, a high ticket course. So if you're selling like a thousand dollar course or two thousand dollar course or something like that and they sign up for a course, they can actually see all the courses that enrolled in right here. And this is gonna be like an example of what it looks like for them in this case, when they sign up for your course, which is pretty, pretty powerful stuff. And you can see like the enrolled contacts, all, all that type of stuff in terms of like analytics. And this is gonna be, you know, a very, very powerful feature. So you can see and really, you know, cater the customer experience just by seeing it from their perspective in a simple, simplistic manner and sort of customer center. Now, if we go over here to Affiliate Center, this isn't actually available at the time of calling this video because ClickFunnels 2.0 is currently still in beta, but basically the Affiliate Center is where you can actually recruit affiliates. This isn't the ClickFunnels affiliate program, by the way, but this is where you can actually recruit affiliates to your own products. So if you sell like a course, for instance, you can actually like recruit affiliates to promote your very own course right here, um, which is very powerful stuff. Now, if we go over here to Funnels, this is where you can create your funnels. There's plenty of different recipes right here as well. So there's opt-in funnel recipes, there's the product launch uh, funnel, reverse squeeze page funnel. So yeah, it's very, very interesting stuff. So you can go ahead and mess around with that as well. Now, if we go over here to pages, if you want to create like individual pages instead of like a sales funnel, you can go ahead and do that as well. So you can create like a standalone page or a theme page or a site page or whatever type of page you want really, right? Uh, URL redirects is pretty self-explanatory, but basically if you're not familiar with this, it's pretty much where you redirect your domain. So let's just say you own youtube.com, right? If you want to like redirect your like tra traffic that from like all the people going to youtube.com to let's just say youtube.org, then you can go ahead and do that. Obviously, in this case, you know, you'd ha have to be your own domains, but that's basically what you can do. You can redirect essentially one URL and forward your visitors from one URL to another. So that's pretty basic stuff. Conversion boosters is coming soon. Courses, so you can obviously go ahead and create your first course. Domains and URLs are pretty self-explanatory as well. So you can go ahead and manage all of that right here. Now, if we go over here to products, this is where it gets pretty interesting. So you can go ahead and create your own products right here as well. Very, very simple, very, very powerful stuff. So you can create products. You can either be like a digital product. So I know a lot of people want to sell courses, eBooks and all that type of stuff, or even software. You can very simply go ahead and do that right here. So you can put in your product name, description. You can do the same thing with physical and bundles as well if you want to go ahead and do that. And in the future, again, ClickFunnels 2.0 is still in beta, but there's going to be collections. Uh, you can add discounts in the future. So you can manage your inventory and obviously add tags as well. So if we go over here to contacts, you'll see that you can see all your contacts right here. So their email and the time they've actually been added and the activity and all that type of stuff. You can also go over here as well to visitors, go ahead and see their information as well, like even their IP address. So there's a lot of information you can work with here as well. And you can go ahead and filter all of that and sort all of that as well as you begin to grow your contact list. You can obviously assign contact tags as well, which is 
Something that I like to do as well, so in this case I just added a contact example. So go over here to segments, I've added a segment example, so let's just say YouTube leads. So you can obviously go ahead and segment your leads and your contacts. So if you have like leads coming from like Facebook or YouTube or let's just say from one niche to another, you can segment your leads so you're, you can obviously have different communication channels and different workflows with each individual like uh, segmentation list. So I'm going to communicate differently with my YouTube leads that are interested in making money online, for an example, than let's just say my Facebook leads that are interested in losing weight, right? So um, that's where segmentation in, from an extreme point of view, or it could even be just something simple like segment segmentation for like your buyers and for people that haven't purchased yet. But yeah, there's plenty of segmentation you can take advantage of right here as well. Uh, contact imports, so you can obviously import your contacts right here as well. That's pretty standard stuff. And analytics right here is a very, very um, interesting stuff that we can work with here as well. And by the way, ana this analytics section is gonna be improved even more uh, in the nearby future for ClickFunnels 2.0. So as you can see, you can see your total page views, the opt-ins, uh, the total orders right here, the conversion rate. Um, you can look at it from a daily and weekly perspective very, very easily. You can navigate uh, via a funnel basis. Um, you can put in a custom range and, and see on the analytics for a particular time frame. All right, you can see your product sales, the opt-ins, total customers. And if we go over here to reporting, you can see even more data right here. So the sales, the course progress, so you can actually monitor your customers' course progress. So um, this way you can actually optimize your course to make sure people are actually going through it because I know a, a big uh, issue with the course industry is that people don't even like watch the course they purchased half the time. <laughs> um, so. Um, that's a bit of a problem, so you can obviously monitor all of that right here. You can see your page views, opt-ins, subscriptions, um, even live view. So I like the live view feature. You can actually see uh, a live view of like all your contacts and leads and all that type of stuff uh, on a live perspective right here, which is also a very powerful feature. And uh, like I said, the ClickFunnels 2.0 analytics should, should like, continue to improve over time as well. Now, if we go over here to marketing, this is where you can basically manage your workflows and organize all your workflows so you can send like emails and collect leads and all that type of stuff. So um, as you can see, you need to like add an address and a marketing email from an address. So basically you need to just do all of this so you can essentially send and set up your workflows, which is obviously very important to do. You can add like workflows, like I said, you know, broadcast. So if you have like an, an email list of like, let's just say 10,000 people, you can send out like a single email to those 10,000 people at once and promote an affiliate product or your own product or a launch or whatever it may be. And there's plenty of email templates as well, countdown timers. So you can easily do all of this inside of ClickFunnels 2.0. Now, if you go over here to sales, You'll see that you can see your sales pipeline, so you can go through all of that right here as well. Now, at the time of recording this video, um, there's not much of this that's actually available because, again, ClickFunnels 2.0 is still in beta. Conversations, the appointments, the rep management, the phone calls, and the lead scoring um, isn't currently available, but it's going to be coming soon. So that's something to keep in mind as well. But it's going to be very coming very, very soon. It's going to make um, this ClickFunnels 2.0 a all-in-one software. I'm um, like we go through my article right here. ClickFunnels 2.0 is really an only one type of tool basically. And it's really gonna be good for people that just want like an only one platform to do all of their business in, right? Um, like I said, you can use it for funnel hubs, blog builder, visual animation builder, team collaboration, membership sites, real-time analytics, uh, all that type of stuff. Even like an e-commerce builder, CRM funnels, funnel flows. And we go over all this in my article right here as well. Now, if we go back over here to the settings, you can manage all your settings. So you can obviously give your workspace a name. You can add a workspace logo. You can choose the currency you want to work with. And if we scroll down below, you can put in the order number format, which is going to be optional. Um, your team settings as well. So you can invite new team members, change your time zone, uh, add team languages as well. All that type of stuff. Uh, co collaborators right here. If we go over here, you can go ahead and obviously manage all of that right here as well. Notifications, billing. So now if we go over here to my assets, this is where you can upload your images to add to your sale funnels and websites inside of ClickFunnels 2.0. So I've added my branding right here, my logo and my banner. You can also upload your videos. So in this case, you need to actually upload your videos to use them inside of your courses and pages and funnels. So you need to upload videos to embed in your courses and pages. 
And the same thing goes with downloads, audio, and fonts as well. So you can upload custom fonts that you can use inside of ClickFunnels 2.0 as well. Now, if we go over here to styles, you can see that we can actually manage your style right here as well. So we can clone the style, we can customize the designs and even edit the designs right here as well. And we can even click on new style for an example, okay? And we could just put in, let's just say test for video. All right. And we can create style, okay? And then we can go ahead and use this style if we want as well, instead of the other one. It's very, very simple stuff. And I just want to briefly go over that as well. We can go over the themes as well. This is where you can go ahead and manage the themes. So in this example, I've got this theme right here. We can add a new theme very quickly, very easily if you wanted to too. And we can manage the system emails right here. So we can go ahead and see all of that right here. And the same thing with webhooks down below as well. All right, so we've covered a lot so far. Now, when it comes to actually accepting payments for selling your courses or your products or any even like physical products, whatever it may be, you're gonna need a payment processor. In this case, ClickFunnels 2.0 is gonna use Payments uh, AI right here. And Payments AI is pretty much very similar to Stripe. If you know what Stripe is, it's basically again, where you can accept payments for your courses or your physical products. You know, your customers would obviously go ahead and put in their details and actually make a payment so you can actually make money and get paid, right? So this is what this is gonna be all about. So you can accept all online payments today and then go ahead and get that set up right here as well. So yeah, guys, I just wanted to go over a ClickFunnels 2.0 tutorial, giving you a good overview and going over everything you need to know so you can really see ClickFunnels 2.0 in action. What I'm also gonna be doing for you guys as well, apart from like uploading new tutorial videos and going over all the individual like features inside of ClickFunnels 2.0 because ClickFunnels 2.0 has so many features. It's ridiculous, but it's obviously very, very amazing because it's an only one platform. But apart from like all the new videos I'm going to be making on ClickFunnels 2.0 in general, I'm also going to be updating my ClickFunnels 2.0 article right here, which is going to be going over all the new updates as well and going over everything you need to know. So as you can see right here, we go over a lot. We go over what is ClickFunnels 2.0, how does ClickFunnels 2.0 work. And we go over all the different features like individually and all that type of stuff. So again, if you do want to learn more about ClickFunnels 2.0 and my review article, I'm also going to provide a link down below to my bonus page where you can learn more about ClickFunnels 2.0 and all that type of stuff as well in terms of the bonuses and all that type of stuff. So if you do want to learn more about ClickFunnels 2.0, I will provide a link down below in the video description so you can go ahead and check that out. And yeah, if you did find value in today's video, make sure to leave a like. It does support the video so it gets out there for more people to see. And yeah, thanks again for watching today's ClickFunnels 2.0 review and ClickFunnels 2.0 tutorial video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.